going on, fans and friends? Welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your host, and today we're going to look at something that's really cool, something that we usually don't look at a lot here at Tech of Tomorrow, and that's laptops. Why? Just because mainly I work at home all the time and don't really have a use for a laptop all that much. But this one is actually something really incredible. This is the brand new Dell XPS 13. Now this thing's totally geared to compete obviously with the products from Apple. Like everything that's pushing it is like, hey, this thing's better, it's faster, it's lighter. It basically, it's kicking ass on a damn Apple notebook. That's right. And actually it is. It's actually the world's smallest 13 inch laptop and it's really incredible. Has a touch screen with Gorilla Glass, backlit keyboard, and just all kinds of killer features. One of my favorites actually though, is the touch screen. That's right, and the resolution on this is 3200 by 1800, so it's pretty incredible. It also weighs only three pounds. I got really lucky. I got this thing sent to me by Dell to check out, and it actually had a lot of accessories inside this Premier backpack. We'll talk about those later, but right now, let's jump in and let's talk about the features on the new Dell XPS 13. The Dell XPS 13 is the world's first and only laptop to feature Infinity Display, which is totally cool. It's a touchscreen, features edge-to-edge -edge Corning Gorilla Glass, and is actually one of the coolest things I've ever seen on a laptop. Just the touchscreen alone is really awesome. When you're on a web page and things like that, you can very easily just touch your fingers on the screen and increase the size. You don't have to go into any settings, make any changes whatsoever, and it's actually one of my favorite features, like I said, of the laptop. Starting out looking at the laptop, the entire outside of the laptop is made of matched aluminum and carbon fiber, so you know this thing is going to be one tough mother taking it around the road. As we move down from the screen, down at the bottom on the left hand side of the screen, you can see the little webcam. Also to the far right is the power button. Down the very front is the precision keyboard, which also features a carbon fiber resting place for your hand. As we go down to the front of the laptop, we can see the keyboard, which is totally backlit, which is really cool if you're working in dark spaces and other things like that, because you can actually see what you're doing. As we spin around to the right side of the XPS 13, we see the first of the two stereo speakers, the SD card slot, USB 3.0 with power share, and finally the Noble lock slot. As we take a look at the left-hand side of the laptop, we see the AC power, a main display port for connecting external monitors, another USB 3.0 with power share, headset jack, and a battery gauge button and an indicator showing you how your battery level is doing. And then last but not least, the second of the stereo speakers. Under the hood of the XPS 13 is a fifth generation Intel Core i5-5200U processor. Now this is the latest Broadwell U processor. Features a 2.0 GHz CPU, which features up to 2.7 GHz in boost. The actual nomenclature of the display is a 13.3 inch ultra sharp QHD Plus Infinity Touch display. This is also an IPS display panel, which features 170 wide angle viewing. It also features 400 nits and a thousand to one contrast ratio. The XPS 13 model that I got features the capacitive touchscreen option, which features 10 finger touch support. The XPS 13 also features eight gigabytes of dual channel DDR3L RS SD RAM at 1600 megahertz. It also sports a 256 gigabyte SSD and Intel's embedded HD 5500 graphics. One thing that's kind of strange about this laptop compared to other laptops is the battery, because the battery is actually built into the laptop and cannot be replaced by the customer at all. But it does feature a 5200 watt hour battery. The XPS 13 features a variety of wireless connections, including Bluetooth 4.0. It's also Miracast capable and features Intel Smart Connect technology. A quick note on the onboard audio, the stereo speakers are professionally tuned with Waves Max Audio Pro. So there you guys can see, this new Dell XPS 13 boasts a host of features, just all kinds of things. Like I said, some of the really awesome things about this are the backlit keyboard. This screen is just amazing. I can't say enough about it. 3200 by 1800 resolution. That's higher than any MacBook, MacBook Air. The only thing that's got more resolution than that is some of those new 6K monitors, 5K monitors, and obviously the brand new iMac, you know, that's out from the people over at Apple. That was a 5K display. It's got a little bit higher resolution, but for laptops and especially 13 inch laptops, the Dell XPS 13 is obviously the winner. It's got the highest resolution. It's totally touchscreen, which I don't know. I just can't say enough about that. Like one cool thing about that is when you're going on the internet and you're an old guy like me and you got failing eyes, you're going out there and you're viewing a web page. All you have to do is like 
click on it. Here, let me give you guys a quick example. So check this out. Here we go, we see the Ken Susi model. So this is kind of small, right, the text? Well, say you can't see it, you just keep making it bigger and bigger and bigger until you can see it, which is totally awesome. Like I'm kind of getting old and blind, I got diabetes, this is something I just totally love about the XPS 13. Also, you know, you can see up Ken Susi's nose. Look, I think he's got a booger right there. No, I'm just kidding. Now, another cool feature along with that awesome touchscreen is a virtual keyboard and has a variety of features inside of it. So if some reason your keyboard on board here takes a dump on you, you can actually use the virtual keyboard. You just click on this button down here, gives you a variety of options. You click on this button right here, you can have your standard keyboard. You can have a thing where you type your name in, sign it, calculator, letters, all kinds of different stuff. So like I said, folks, that to me is like my favorite aspect about the laptop. The XPS 13 is just incredible in that respect. I read and browse and search the internet all day long. Now, I have a lot of computers all over the house. You guys know I've been in the computer industry since the dinosaur age, and so I've just have built up computers up the butt. But lately, I find myself going back and back and back to damn XPS 13 laptop. Because that feature, if I wanna read something online, it's too small, I don't have to go do any adjustments, go make any fonts bigger. I just put my fingers on there, boom, make it bigger. I personally love that a lot. The backlit keyboard is really good if you're working in a dark room or whatever, that'll give you a lot of good productivity time. But now talking about productivity, let's jump in real quick and let's take a look at the Geekbench score and see how this thing does on that, which is actually comparable to lots of people out around the world. I would give you folks kind of an audio test, but it's kind of hard to do with the laptops and the speakers are on the side. But I can tell you the speakers are pretty adequate. Why we do the things we do. Such silly fools wasting time. The sound on this thing is pretty decent. If you're watching a movie, streaming videos, watching YouTube and that stuff, there's two watts per side in the speakers. It's enough for a laptop, trust me. I mean, it's not blaring. You're not gonna be able to go and you know fill the arena with it and rock out, but for your bedroom or anything else, you'll do just fine. And also, since there's a headphone jack, if you want it louder, stick a headphone in and rock out, you know, until the you know, until you wanna rock out. Okay. So that's all the great things about the XPS 13. Earlier in the video, I said that the people at Dell kicked me down some cool accessories. Let's talk about some of those things. Right here, we have the Dell Premium Sleeve. It's a magnetic bag. Put your thing in there, it's all nice and velvety inside of here. This thing comes to market at about 49 bucks. It's pretty cool. We have Microsoft Office, no disc at all. There's just a code. So you go online, download it in your code and you're up and going with Office. We've got the USB 3.0 to Ethernet and USB 2.0 adapter. And last but not least, so that thing's about, like I think it was like 59 bucks. And then last but not least, we've got the 12,000 milliamp battery. So think about it, you're on the road or whatever, all of a sudden your laptop runs out of juice, you're like freaking out, I was in the middle of a project, what the frack do I do? You use this badass boy right here, that's right. Automatically charge up your laptop, and once again, you'll get that 15 hours. Now. The battery life on this thing was about 15 hours if you were on the net and stuff like that. If you're doing other things like watching videos, it's a little bit less, but for surfing the net, just general usage, it's almost 15 hours. So pretty good battery life, actually. So let's put that over there. Then we also have the Bell Premier Backpack. Now this thing's pretty awesome because it's got nice straps, very comfortable, padded everywhere. On the front, it has a place you can actually put your laptop inside of here and still charge it while it's inside of the bag. Little hole for the cord to go through and all that. Really cool stuff. I think that's a, uh, actually you can see inside of here. I'll try to let you guys see inside of there. It's kind of hard to see everything, but there's actually a lot of different pockets in here. Here on the inside, features a lot of different zippers, more pockets and all kinds of stuff. Inside of here, again, a big, huge area with more pockets, lots of padded stuff. So you can put your laptop in here, books in here, all kinds of cool stuff, be on the road traveling around. So those are the accessories. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, I'm not usually a laptop kind of guy, unless I'm going to CES or traveling or something. I'm usually at home. I don't really have that much use for a laptop, but since I've got this Dell XPS 13, I find myself going back to it more and more and more. In the living room, it's pretty awesome. I've got it up to my wireless network. I can surf the internet and do all that stuff and do my work, sit and watch a little TV, be a lazy couch potato. So, I mean, I don't know, three pounds. 
That screen was amazing. Touch screen like we saw before. A lot of power inside of this thing. It'll power all the latest programs out there. So if you're using Photoshop, using Premiere, all that stuff, your productivity will be really good on this. Eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD, i5 processor, 2.2 gigahertz right off the bat. That 2.7 in the boost, I mean, I don't know. This thing's pretty good. Now the way this thing's configured, it's $1,399. So that's a pretty mid-level price. Some of those MacBook Pros and stuff like that, they have not as good of resolution, a little bit bigger screen, they're heavier, and they cost a lot more money. So I really think that Dell has had a really success story here, because like I said, it sold me over. I've never really wanted a laptop like this one. <laughs> I like it, I really do. So at the end of the day, I just think that's really what's important. The keyboard's awesome. I mean, I don't know. What else can I say about this thing? I mean, I'm not really a laptop person, but yet I love this laptop. So I'm Elric here on Tech of Tomorrow, and I'll go and play some more with the Dell XPS 13 because it's simply fun and productive. See ya.